Today I will be talking about how a lot of men cannot be around beautiful women. This used to be me, this might used to be you, it might still be you. So let's get into it. But before that, it's basically BO, aka Cole Brown Official. I'd appreciate you if you hit that like button for me. So let's talk about why men struggle to be around beautiful women. And then we're going to talk about the downside to being around beautiful women. So why do men struggle so much to be around beautiful women is because they put them up here. You have to look at every woman as the same. And I told y'all my story, right? I done fumbled the bag a couple of times because you get super nervous the more attractive she is. But you have to treat the attractive woman just like she's ugly, right? You treat them all the same. Don't just make her special because she has a pretty face because she has a nice body because that's what everybody else is doing. And a lot of times the beautiful woman, she has an inflated ego. She has an inflated ego. She thinks she's better than what she is. You treat her like everybody else. And that's when you're going to stand out. Cause she's going to be like, Oh, everybody else super thirsty. So you just keep it cool, calm and collected. Yeah. You just talk to her like you would talk to anybody else. And cause I, in my head, I used to always think you had to do something special. You got to, you know what I'm saying? You got to impress her. But I tell you all the time, when you're impressive, it will show for itself. You don't have to really try, right? You just have to try to get to know somebody. That's all it is. But you don't have to try to lift yourself, but lift yourself up. You don't have to try to brag on yourself and boast on yourself. No, nah, they can see it for themselves over time. And that's how you have to do it, man. And I talk about these big back beluga whales a lot of times. But if you like that, go for that. You know what I'm saying? I might talk my stuff, you know, I don't understand it because if I were to get with, I don't think I could get with like a super big woman. Like, I don't even think my meat would work. <laughs> Be real with y'all. Um, the Norwegian chick, she was probably the thickest chick I done hit. And maybe she was like 180, 180, she was probably like five, seven. You know what I'm saying? She was thick, but it was in the right areas. That's all I can do, man. If she was probably 20 pounds heavier, I couldn't do it. You know what I'm saying? But it was in the right area. So I still had to slide. But even if you like these bigger chicks, like if you think your girl is attractive and most men would say she's ugly, hey, you're winning. You got what you want, man. This dude I met a couple of years ago, he makes dating content too. I'm not going to point him out because there's no point in doing that. But one time he said this, he said, um, I'd rather show my homies uh, eights and nines. I'm not really a body count type of guy. And really he was saying quality over quantity but the way he said it, it kind of sounded sus i'm like why are you worried about what your homeboys think and you shouldn't be worried about what other people think about your girl's looks you should care what they think about her personality her behavior like if, her, if your family has something to say about her personality you know then you should care but if they think she's ugly and you think she's attractive hey by all means stick to that woman because it's gonna be more difficult to be with a more attractive woman you gonna have dudes cat calling dudes trying to Holler at her. You're going to have dudes slide in her DMs consistently. If you got an uglier girl, you ain't got to deal with that as much as that. Be real with y'all, man. And the, the uglier the girl is, the more humble she is. Majority of the time, you know. Now, it depends on the market, too. Like, if you're in a thin market where there's not a lot of attractive women. If you're in a thick market with a lot of attractive women, you can find an attractive woman that acts right. But I'm in a thin market. Like, there's not a lot of bad chicks in my area. So, the ones that are bad... They have a huge ego a lot of times. Not all the time, but a lot of times. They have a huge ego. They think their shit don't stink. You ask them to do something, it's like half ass. Well, if I take an average chick, dog, she go above and beyond. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When I do with the average looking chick, she go above and beyond. I promise you. Now, I can't deal with no big chicks. That's not me. <laughs> That's not me. I ate that no reason chick. She was thick. But even that, like, maybe a thick one every now and then. But for the most part, I like my girls in the gym, in shape, all that. You feel me? But I'll tell y'all that to say this, man. You shouldn't be worried about what other people think about the girls you messing with. Like, if you messing with girls just to brag about your friends, you doing this shit wrong. And this is why I always tell y'all, like, dating multiple girls isn't for everybody. Some dudes are one woman, man. Whatever. You have to decide what you are, man. That's you. I don't tell y'all what you should and shouldn't do. I just try to give y'all, like, a rough game plan so you know and understand how people are moving. You know what I'm saying? But when he said, I'm like, why are you worried about what your homeboys think? Like, that's a thought in your head. The quality of the woman, oh, I'm thinking about my homeboys, if they approve or not. Man, bump your homeboys. In that situation, you know, if she got a friend you're trying to put her on with, one of your homeboys, that's different. But if it's the girl you're trying to function with, 
your homeboy shouldn't even be a thought in your head. So when he said, I'm like, that's kind of sus. Like when he said, I'm not really a body count type of guy. I'd rather show my homeboys like eights and nines. Like, are you just sleeping with women for an ego stroke? You know, and I think a lot of dudes do that, bro. Like me, that's that's not the case. I, I really just like meeting people. I like connecting with people and I enjoy the whole process of it. I'm not just doing it so I can brag to people, right? I think if you're just sleeping with girls just to brag, just to tell your friends, like you you doing it for the wrong reasons, right? And it comes with shit, right? There's pros and cons to everything. So if you're just doing it for an ego stroke, I think you're doing it for the wrong reason. You know what I'm saying? If you do it to brag for your friends, oh, you, I, I, I done slept with this bad chick and you trying to show off, like that's kind of out, bro. You know, and I'm not saying I never bragged or nothing like that. I'm not saying if I slay a bad chick, I'm not, my, I might not tell the homies, but it's not like the first thing on my mind. You know, I'm not, in my head when I decide to sleep with a chick, it's not like my homies are even in my head about it. You know what I'm saying? But I just had to get out of the way. Like some dudes do this shit for the wrong reasons. But back to the point, man. If you find a woman attractive and most dudes think she's average or she's basic or Stick that woman, bro. If, if if she turns you on, if you find that attractive. Because those are the best women. The average looking women. Yeah, those are the ones that act the best. Now, if there's some average looking women that act like she's a bad chick, those are the worst ones. <laughs> those are the worst ones. She don't have looks, but she thinks she does. Those are the worst ones. I don't know who gassed her up, but she need to come back down to earth. Right? But don't get too, as long as you find her attractive, bro. That's what I'm trying to say. But the thick markets and the thin markets, when you in that thin market, it's going to be a little tougher talking to them attractive women, right? But you just talk to her like you talk to anybody else. It's just in them really thin markets, she's going to get a lot, she's going to get a lot of attention. Because when she's the only bad one in a, in a sea full of uh, busted chicks, oh, she's going to get a lot of attention. And dudes are consistently going to be trying to push up, especially on Instagram, yeah, they're going to try to push up, so be ready. But you treat that beautiful woman like you treat all the other women. And a lot of times it comes down to, I always say this, it comes down to you don't value yourself enough. You overinflate her because you don't value yourself. While she should be lucky to be in your life. That's how you got to look at it, man. When you a man that's really on your stuff, you really working towards something, she's lucky to join you. You not joining her. And once you start looking at it like that, you stop tripping about all the bullshit, bro. You stop worrying about how big her booty is and how cute her face is. That shit don't get to you, bro. Because you done seen that before. You know, there's another one out there. There's another one out there. Especially if you're in a big city, bro. You should not be tripping about women at all. Because there's another girl that looks just like her down the street. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Real stuff, bro. This scarcity mindset, like, though, if, if you really travel the world, you see how many bad chicks there are. Like, sometimes I just be changing my hinge location and just looking at women across the world be like man i wonder what some chicks in i just pick a random place see what chicks in any location look like on hinge bro and i be getting matches wherever you know what i'm saying so <laughs> anytime i have that scarcity mindset like dog i could just up and move and be around a whole bunch of bad chicks i'm just in a bad location so i know if you're in a bad location it's tough as soon as you get around that really attractive woman she thinks she's all that but just remember dog they all the same bro just look at it they all the same she might have a great personality, but you treat her like she's the same until she proves otherwise. She, you don't give her no special treatment until she gives you special treatment. You know what I'm saying? And what I notice about a lot of attractive women, they don't go as hard, bro. The average, the basic looking chicks, they're going to do everything to a, a higher level, right? You ask for a massage. You ask for some sloppy toppy. She's going to do it better. I promise you. These, these very attractive women, a lot of them are pillow princesses. A lot of them are lazy. I promise you. And I used to hear dudes say this. I'm like, man, whatever. But then I started experiencing it. I'm like, the most attractive women, basic. Basic. They pretty in the face. They got a nice body. But everything else is basic. And then the basic looking chick, dog, they, they be the biggest freaks. They, they put in the most work. I promise you. I promise you. You ask for a massage, she going to give you the best massage she, you done had in your life. You ask her to cook you a meal, she going to be happy to do it. You know, that's the basic looking chicks. These really pretty girls, though, they be lazy. They done had everything handed to them. So don't, don't, looks are important, man. You got to be attracted to a woman. But like I said, don't be too concerned about what everybody else thinks about this girl. If you think she's a nine and everybody else thinks she's a six, that's, that's perfectly fine. You know, if you in the big girls, hey, man, 
the girl with the best personality I done met probably, I didn't mess with her. She was too big. <laughs> I wasn't going to mess with her. But she had a mouthpiece like no other. Like, the way she flirted was, like, just on a different level with this girl. And she was just, dog, she, dog, she was smooth. She had a smooth mouthpiece. You know, a lot of women don't have game. But since she was big, it's like she had to make up for it in different types of ways. So she knew how to cook. And she, she knew how to talk. You know what I'm saying? Dudes used to be all over, hollering at her all the time. You know what I'm saying? So I think a lot of the average looking chicks, they try to actually work on themselves. While a lot of these pretty girls, they just got it. So they got everything handed to them. It's like a spoiled child. You know, they don't have to develop themselves because they just got everything fed to them. So just realize that a lot of the most attractive chicks aren't as special as you think they are. Treat them like every other woman. And that's when you're going to get the best results. That's all I got for y'all today. Make sure to like the video, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch y'all boys in the next one.